Gosh, I cannot believe we got burger and squash eggs. Squash. The biggest problems I hear, especially in Oklahoma, is squash bugs and squash vine borers. Now I know what they are, I know what to look for, but I've never dealt with growing squash in Oklahoma and managing them. I've watched a ton of YouTube videos and I thought it would be interesting if on my different squash plants, I tried the different techniques that I'm seeing to try to figure out what really seemed to work the best and what was a total waste of time. So a couple things I'm gonna try. First one is a lint roller. I'm gonna use this along the stems to try to pick up on those tiny little squash vine borer eggs. They're individual little tiny orange dots. So I'm gonna try the lint roller method. I'm also going to try tin foil. I'm gonna use it to wrap the stems of one of my squash to see if that helps prevent the squash vine borer from laying eggs on the vine, on the stem so that it can bore in and destroy life. So I'm gonna try the wrap method. And finally, I'm gonna try the BT injection method. So BT is a way to control the vine borers by killing the larva. They ingest this and then they die and don't kill your squash. If you just spray on the outside, that's not gonna help. The eggs are not hatched, they're not present. It's not gonna do much. But if it's inside the hollow stem and the larva gets in because you missed an egg, you didn't get it with the lint roller, you didn't get it in time, in theory, the larva will ingest the BT and die before it can mature and burrow out and destroy your squash plant. So those are gonna be my three methods of attack. I'm gonna try them on different squash as kind of a control so I can see where I'm having the best success and report back to you guys if I get a squash harvest and if any of these YouTube suggestions actually work. <laughs> it's our production assistant. Okay, good job, boo. So real quick, I do want to go over the difference between a squash bug, I'll put a picture on the screen, and a squash vine borer. They're different bugs and they cause different damage. I have seen a squash vine borer in my garden so they're the ones that lay the single orange egg along the stem their larvae burrow into the hollow stems of your squash eat it from the inside out and wreck shop squash vine borer the squash bug is different the squash bug larva overwinter in debris in your garden. So that's one of the reasons why it's really important to rotate your squash where you grow it each year and also to clean up all the debris after the season ends and not leave any dead leaves or any plant material there for them to harbor in. Because this is a new garden and a new raised garden, I'm in a little better chance that I'm probably not going to have overwintered larva, but they might, the adults might come into the garden. It is much easier to control squash bugs preventatively and with the larva than it is once you have adults. Once you have adults, it's pretty close to game over or you're just gonna have to be hand picking them off and that's pretty disgusting. So a lot of these methods are mainly targeted towards the squash vine borer, but I'm ready to battle with the squash bugs too. I literally just got done saying that I thought I would be able to escape the squash bug and we have squash bug eggs. Difference between vine borers is they lay the individual orange eggs, typically along stems, sometimes under leaves. The squash bug is different. The squash bug lays in a group like this. These are squash bug eggs. They will hatch and turn into nymphs, which are just the baby squash bugs and grow into adults and wreck shop. So, I need to get these off the leaves ASAP. We're using the, like the edge, which has no stickiness to it. Not really doing something. It's pulling them off, but I cannot leave even one. See, it's tricky because they like to lay them right here in the, in the groove, so. Yeah, that, like that top edge though hasn't got any sticky to it, so. I know, but I don't know how to get the angle. Can't you just use regular tape of some sort? Yeah, you could. I think the lint roller is going to be better for like a rolling along the stem. I rotate it though for camera. 
but I also need to make sure that these are destroyed. I can't just like take it off and have it fall down or leave it in the garden because they'll still hatch. They gotta go. Goodbye. Goodbye yes, I think that wrapping tape around your fingers would be a better control for the squash bugs. But this might, oh gosh, is this a bug? Oh my gosh, is this a yes. vine no, borer? Just another that would have been hilarious. It's not a vine borer, it's a... Uh, oh, it's a lightning bug? Yeah, lightning bug. So another method is taking tin foil or like a stretchy athletic tape and wrapping the stem of your squash. I understand the principle because squash vine borers tend to lay eggs down there and then they burrow in. But in my squash, I'm finding eggs all over the stem. I'm not just finding them at the base. So I'm gonna try it because I see it all over the place, but I'm really not optimistic about this method because the eggs are everywhere. They're not just at the base, but maybe just maybe it helps. And even with the squash bugs potentially crawling up and whatnot, I don't know, I'm gonna do it for the sake of science. Oh, like at the base base? Mm -hmm. I thought like you were like to do it along the whole... No, that would be, that would be ridiculous. No. And then as the plant continues to grow up, out, and the stem gets longer, I'm gonna have to add more. But that's the wrap method. We'll see if it does anything. Are you hunting, my love? Uh-huh. Well, so the bug's gonna wanna be like, the squash bug's gonna wanna be under the leaves right now laying eggs. BT, in a syringe we got on Amazon. They're craft syringes. And I need to inject into stems. I think I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. Because it has less stems. <laughs> so to make it easier for me to remember, I chose my yellow summer squash to do the BT, and I'm gonna leave my zucchini with no BT injection. I thought that would be easier to remember which ones I treated. So I'm gonna go here, kind of near the base. I'm gonna puncture, which is super easy because they're hollow. Don't wanna go all the way through, obviously. And I'm giving about, what is this, one? Five cc. Five cc. Five ml, I mean. Or ml. And I'm gonna try to go with the big ones. I'm finding this to be unreasonable considering how many stems there are but I'm experimenting and really trying to figure out how I can get a squash harvest. So we're gonna do it. No. Did it one just drop or did you suck up dirt? Oh, dirt. Oh, come on, sir, on my leg. Mm. Bunch of All right, I think we found everything they did, but they're here. They found this us. This is your method. Yeah, they found us. They found us. Hey, Barrett, what you doing? We've been found. Just crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's his new word. Can you see one? That's his new word. Oh my gosh, he found one, Eric. Found what? No joke. Barrett just found the egg. Yeah. Yes! <gasps> Barrett! I totally missed it. Barrett found an egg! He totally found it. But he found, found it, it, Eric. You looking? Barrett, hunt. Hunting. Ryan, no. Barrett's the good hunter. Hunt, Barrett, hunt. You getting them? Do you find the squash bug? No, Barrett found it. Hunt! Hunt Barrett for it. Egg. Look for him. Oh my gosh. I found. You found one? I found one. Yeah? I found one. Yeah? Good job. I found one. You found one? A big another one. A big another one? Yeah. Find I'm it. I'm not finding any. Mommy, what color I egg? I found egg. 
orange. You found an egg? Orange. Yeah, orange. We tried the methods. We have the tin foil, the lint roller, the BT injection, the manually hunting for eggs, and now apparently the vacuum method. Initial takeaways. Tin foil doesn't seem realistic, but I'm gonna try. BT, there are a lot of stems on these squash, so injecting all of them is going to be a lot, but I'm gonna try it. Lint roller, I didn't find it to be sticky enough, so I'm gonna need to get duct tape and like wrap it around my fingers to try to press. I don't think the rolling is sticky enough, but it's the same concept with tape, so I'm gonna keep doing that. And apparently the squash bugs have found us because we found two and slurped them up in the vacuum and there were eggs on my zucchini. So the hunt is on, the war has begun, and I need to be out here every night monitoring and I'll report back to see if I think any of these methods were effective and I actually get a harvest. So come back in later update videos.